you got to learn to self-promote in all of this. Stand out. And people won't know how you stand out unless you tell them, this is how I'm different. So get really good at having that skill about why people should buy from you. Welcome to Crafted Entrepreneur. Today, I'm going to be talking about five mistakes that you're probably making inside of your marketing. I've been in the marketing game for the last 12 years. And when I first got started, I had no idea what I was doing. I just really shared what was happening in my life and what products I was using. And people wanted to know about it. It was very organic. And I learned along the way when I reverse engineered, you're like, okay, how do I do that again? (laughs) How do I get the same results selling different products? Well, what happened was I built up a trust factor with people. And I want to teach you exactly how you can do that, how to avoid these five mistakes that I see so many people using online and it's not working for you. And if you just switch them around, I think you're going to have some more success. So let's get right to it. Number one mistake you're making inside of your marketing is you're marketing to the wrong people. And I know people get mad when I talk about avatar because they they want it to be easy. And figuring out your avatar isn't always easy. And building a business isn't always easy. But when you understand who you are and who exactly you can help, what problem you're solving for them, it gets a lot easier. So remember, people are always asking themselves two questions when they're looking at you, okay? They are thinking, why should I buy this? And what specific problem will this solve for me? So when you start to think about who do I market to, who is the right person that I want to market to? First, you need to understand, okay, if I'm marketing a pen, that's $3 then I have a much broader audience. There's a lot more people I can talk to. But if I'm selling a luxurious pen that has affirmations written on it, and this is probably a good business idea for somebody, you know, and it's so easy to write. And because I journal every day and I'm speaking to those, you know, super 5 a.m. clubbers, then I'm going to have a very niche market and a specific person I'm talking to. And I know that sounds really silly, But when it's your coaching offer, let's say you are somebody who sells, you know, life coaching, okay? And everybody wants to be a life coach these days. And trust me, I love life coaching. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. But if I just say, hey, I'm a life coach and I can help all of you with everything in your life, you talk to nobody because people, it's too hard for them to understand what problem you solve. So you need to speak to that specific person. What exactly are you helping that person do in their life? So let's take your ideal person. Maybe they are a 40-year-old male who just got out of a divorce and he's looking to become a better mate so he can find the love of his life and have a happy, healthy relationship this next go-round. You see how, okay, now... Everything you create inside of your content, your emails, your social media reels, your threads posts, you're going to speak directly to that person. What are you going to do? You're going to get, give him uh, boundaries, you know, how to create healthy boundaries, how to have a healthy relationship with yourself. You're going to probably talk about all the things he did wrong in his previous relationship talk about red flags in people. I mean, the con- oh my gosh, you could just have endless content instead of going, well, I could help him with so many things. I can help him with his fashion. I can help him with this. It's like, blah, 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 blah. oh my goodness, you're losing him. You're losing him. So stop marketing to the wrong people. Start marketing to the right person. Number two, the number two mistake I see people making in their marketing is saying the wrong things. You can know that you help people in such an incredible way. I'm going to continue to use this guy, right? That needs help with his love life. But 
you're saying all the wrong things to him and he doesn't think you could help him. So if you're a female talking about narcissistic abuse and emotional abuse and da 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 and it's just hitting like all the things wrong with him because they're too scientific of words and all this guy wants is love. So yeah, you might need to teach him about all of those things and red flags of what to look for. But, you know, like he doesn't care about that because what he wants is love. So stop saying the wrong things to the right person because you got to start saying the right things to the right person. What is it that they need? Remember, they're thinking in their lens, why should I buy this? And what specific problem will this solve for me? So the specific problem it's solving for this guy is that he's going to find his soulmate. He's lonely and he wants somebody to share the rest of his life with. Think about all the problems you have when you're lonely, right? You're just like, gosh, you have fear. You're scared. Am I going to be alone for the rest of my life? Oh, but if I buy life coaching from Kayla, I'm going to find the love of my life. I'm going to be so happy for the rest of my life. Do you see this? Like it starts to give this guy hope, which by the way, I don't think I could ever coach somebody on how to find somebody, but you know, maybe I will one day. Number three mistake I see people making in their marketing, asking them to do the wrong things. So what I will see coaches especially do is they'll say, hey, right away, like before they've even talked about stories and testimonials of how they've helped people they will tell people to just go and apply, apply to work with me. And what you want to do first, before you even do that, is you need to generate some interest. See if people even want a piece of this pie. So generate FOMO by asking them to message you. So, hey, I recently helped an amazing man find the love of his life And we worked through so many things because he had, you know, past trauma in his previous relationship and he, he really had struggled with trusting people and we helped him create a healthy relationship with himself using my five step method. And I decided that there has to be more people like him that are looking for love, but needing to go through this method first. So if you're interested in learning about what this method is, Would you just DM me right now the word method? I just want to see if people even want it. Okay, so you're starting to generate that interest and build up trust with people because what happens? They're going to DM you the word method and you're going to go through them and say, oh, wow, I'm so excited that you're interested in this. What's your life look like right now? You know, who's the last person you dated? Like you're going to start having that conversation in the DMs. And what does that do? That person's going to feel seen and heard by you. And guess what? That builds up the trust factor. So then you go, hey, you know, it really sounds like you would be a good candidate for this program. Here's the link to apply, and then we can book a call. So they're further down the funnel, and they trust you. So that way, when you put the offer out there, they're more likely to say, yes, this is for me. Number four mistake I see people making is advertising what they have going on anywhere and everywhere. So on every single platform, and let's just say even locally, like if you're going on magazines and billboards, there's a specific avatar that looks at those types of things. There's a specific person that likes to go on TikTok and consume information. There's a specific person that likes to go on LinkedIn. There's a specific person that's over on Facebook, right? In the Facebook groups, like know where your person likes to hang out. And you might go, well, my person likes to hang out everywhere, but I guarantee you the way they like to consume the information on each platform is different. For me, I like going on TikTok and I like to laugh. And I hired a TikTok coach from TikTok. And guess what? She made me laugh. I was like, this chick is funny. I want to learn from her. Okay, I'm going to learn how to do TikTok from her. And bought, you know, I think it was like, I don't remember, like, 20 grand or something like that. And I learned so much and she helped me grow my platform over there. But I don't think I would have reached out to her had she not like made me laugh literally out loud. Now on Instagram, I like it serious, man. I like to be in my feels. I'm like, I'm looking for the aesthetic. I'm really checking you out over there. If I would have found this specific TikTok coach over on Instagram, I would have breezed on past her. Like honestly, like I wouldn't have hired her based off her Instagram. 
but on the TikTok, right? She did what I wanted over there. You see what I'm saying here? So think about your person, understand them so well. How do they like to consume the information on the platforms? Don't just regurgitate and reuse all of your reels and go put them over on TikTok. That's not smart, okay? Make content specific for the platform, period. End of story. Don't be lazy. Go and do the things that will actually help set you apart and help you become successful. If you knew for a matter of fact that you were going to make a hundred grand by doing that task, by being intentional, making content specific for each platform, would you do it? Yes. All of you go and raise your hand and say, yes, I would for sure do it. (laughs) Easy peasy. But the reason why you don't is because you you have this belief, like, I don't know if it's going to work. And if you go into anything with, I don't know if it's going to work, then like you're one foot in and one foot out. You have to go into it with, this is absolutely going to work because anything I put my hands to turns to gold. So stop advertising anywhere and everywhere. Understand where your ideal demographic is hanging out and create that content specifically for them over there. Now, the last mistake I see people making is them having no system when it comes to their marketing strategy. So. If you're kind of that person right now that's just throwing spaghetti at the wall and you're seeing what's going to stick, you're probably getting spaghetti on the wall results, which is crap, right? You're probably not happy with the results that you're getting. But if you have a system for first, number one, understanding who your avatar is and then creating the content for them that's going to help them buy your offer and then become a customer for life. So I want to explain it to you like this, okay? I just recently went viral on TikTok. And you can't plan to go viral, but you need to always be prepared to go viral. And what happened was the content was around, you know, we talked about this on the podcast, but it was around, you shouldn't have to ask your husband for money. And if you do, that's financial abuse. People like freaked out over it. And guess what people wanted? I know because my ideal person for this type of content is people who are looking for work from home opportunities. Well, I'm an affiliate for some work for home opportunities. So you better believe as this is going viral, people are clicking the link in my bio, which is a jot form to fill out what they're interested in whether it be a work from home opportunity or coaching with me. And we have it all filled out into an amazing little system where if they click work from home opportunity, they get put into that funnel. And right away, they're going to start being fed information around all the work from home opportunities we have and whatever one they decide to join, we're going to get paid on. Okay. Now, if they choose coaching, It's going to put them through an application. The setter is going to call them. Our salesperson gets on a call with them and sells them on whatever specific coaching program is perfect for them. Now, can you imagine if I was scrambling trying to figure this all out as I'm going viral? It wouldn't work, right? But just from that one video alone, we were able to convert 10 new clients into our programs And we're still working the leads because there's hundreds that came through on the work from home opportunities. And I guess what, what I love about this is it's evergreen content. So it's going to live on. It's still like, we're still getting comments every single day on this video, which means we're still getting submissions on the link in bio. That's a system that we have in place. We know we do organic marketing that feeds the person, the information. We know they're then going to go into the profile and click a link where do we want them to go? Well, we want them to buy something from us. And we know, okay, depending on what that video is focused on is what they're going to buy. And so we change out that funnel from time to time. So create your marketing system. The last thing I want you to understand is when you know who you are and what problem you solve, you will be a great marketer. So who are you? What problem do you solve? And I'm going to add this in. How are you different? Because let's just say you're somebody, we're going to stick with the love coach idea. 
because it's so random. I don't even know who, who is a love coach. Maybe somebody should be. Let's just say, yeah, hey, I'm going to help you find the love of your life. Okay. We're going to help you have great, amazing relationships and you're going to become just a magnet for love. So here's what happens. If I go right now to all of these social media platforms and I just search love coach, I'm sure I'm going to find several. And if you all look the same, like you're all going to help me in the same way, I'm going to not know who to go with. I'm probably just going to pick the cheapest if I'm a consumer. But if you're like, hey, all the other love gurus out there are going to tell you to date yourself and get out of debt and blah, 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 whatever, all the vanilla exercises that all the other gurus are telling you to do, that's not what I'm going to tell you to do. I'm going to tell you to boom, like do something completely the opposite of what all the other love gurus are telling them to do. And it's going to change your life. And it's not only going to help you in your love life, but it's going to help you in every aspect, which is why I am the top love coach that you need to talk to. So you got to learn to self-promote in all of this. Stand out. And people won't know how you stand out unless you tell them, this is how I'm different. So get really good at having that skill about why people should buy from you. All the time, like I'm thinking about what makes me stand out right? There's a lot of coaches out there, but you know, there are the new age coaches that say, la, 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 manifest, clear your chakras, and you're going to make all this money. And what I see so many of those people do is they just take people down a trail of confusion and chaos in their lives. And they're always just chasing the next, next, next thing. And there's a whole lot of destruction over there. So I'm nothing like those people. And then there's other money coaches out there, you know, and I like to separate myself by saying like, I'm anti Dave Ramsey, even though I've had Rachel Cruz on the podcast, like, you know, some of the stuff she says is good. And I think helpful for people who want to be average. But if you're listening to this podcast right now, you're not somebody who wants to be average. You want extraordinary. You want spectacular results. You don't want to just be debt free. You want wealth that lives on past you. And I'm the person that you need to learn from to create a legacy, to create a financial fortress around your family, because I've had it since I was 30 years old, you know, and that's a huge track record. Mommy and daddy didn't teach me how to do it, which isn't a bad thing. Like, hello, I'm going to teach my kids how to do it. But I really had to get in there, make a lot of mistakes. And I teach you all the mistakes to not make and how to build wealth while living a luxury lifestyle at the same time. Because I don't believe you can save your way to rich. I just really don't think that's really what's going to make you rich in your life. You want to experience life along the way and create riches. So you will never have a problem being rich and making a lot of money if you understand these marketing tactics that we talked about today. And what makes me stand out as a coach is the fact that like, I don't just deal with this marketing stuff and help you like stand out online and make a lot of money. I help you create momentum in every area of your life because when you know who you are, you will be like a pillar in your community. You're going to be a magnet for people to want to be around you and learn from you. And you're just going to have a lot of opportunity coming your way. And so that's how I make you stand out. Or that's how I stand out. (laughs) I didn't know I was going to go into self-promotion, but hey, if I'm trying to teach you how to self-promote, I better be doing it myself, right? You got to walk the talk. And just see how natural that is. See how natural that is. If you truly believe in you and you are convicted about how you help people, it'll be easy to promote yourself in that way because you're just like, yeah, here's what I got. And I'm not in the business of convincing anybody. It takes multiple six figures to work with me. And if you're not into that game, don't fill out the application to work with me one-on-one. But if you are ready to go to that next level in your life and you want somebody to support you and help give you the ideas and strategy on how to get there, then sign up, fill out an application, right? Have a conversation with our sales team to see what program is great for you. So I hope you enjoyed this marketing lesson for today. See you next time.